Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos that is usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and then again on Fridays. So if that is content that sounds like something that you may be interested in, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified for when I post new videos. It really, really helps out my channel. So yeah, today I am filming my week one spending check-in for the month of June. So if you guys don't know, I am not a cash budgeter, so I use my debit card for everything. So I make sure to film these videos weekly so that I keep myself accountable and catch up on all my spending that I had over the last week. Um, and those are in four variable expense categories, that being groceries, dining out, gas, and miscellaneous. And just to note, my week one of June actually spans from June the 3rd through June the 9th. And that is because I get paid bi-weekly at my job. So I want to make sure that each of these weeks um, falls like when I get paid. So I got paid for the first time in June on the 3rd. So yeah, let's flip over to the next page and I will walk you through all of my transactions. So the first transaction that I had was on June the 4th. This was in the dining out category. I went to Milestones and I spent $32.49. Um, I said in my debt overview video, or I'm actually, okay, I take that back. You're going to see my debt overview video on Wednesday. So I have, I said in my debt overview video on Wednesday that I was meeting up with some friends and this is where we went for dinner. It's like kind of like a chain. I don't know if they're located across Canada, but I know they have multiple locations in Ontario. So it was really good. I had a salad with salmon on it and honestly it was delicious it was kind of frustrating though because like I've said to you guys before that I don't really drink alcohol but milestones is one of the few places that I do like to get alcohol from <laughs> because they have like frozen bellinis and I completely forgot because we were eating outside on the patio so anyways I didn't get one but yeah I ended up spending $32.49 there on my meal and then next, um, on the fourth as well, in the dining out category, I went to McDonald's and I spent $3.11. This was on a dollar drink and this dollar drink actually had ice in it and it wasn't flat, so it was delicious. And then I also got myself an ice cream cone. So yeah, that was $3.11 on the fourth. Um, next was on the fifth, um, and this was in the groceries category. I went to Fresh Co and I spent $57.70. I had mentioned in my last video that I absolutely had to go to the grocery store and stock up on things. So I did, I got myself some chicken for the week and that was on it honestly I didn't actually buy all that much food as like I'm, I'm sure you all know groceries are inflation has really really set in I honestly don't know how families are doing it like I'm just buying for myself and I think it's a lot but yeah $57.70 for groceries um, and then next was on the 6th so the 6th was the Monday and I actually um, actually went into my office that day so there's a Staples nearby and I wanted to get some highlighters so and just because like I had gotten myself mild liners before and they were fine but like the one mild liner my pink one ran out pretty quickly which I thought was odd so I wanted to try these so they're they're just the bright grip pastel highlighters from Bic. So when you guys see my July budget, you'll actually see one of them. Sorry about that cut, you guys. I, I hit the camera, so yeah. Um, but anyways, what I was just saying was that in July, I ended up using one of them. So you'll see those when I set up my July budget. But yeah, anyways, I bought them from Staples and they were $6.67, which was significantly cheaper than buying them on Amazon because I did see them on Amazon first, but I think they were like $9.99 for the package on Amazon compared to Staples and they were like six or $5.99. So yeah, um, but then also <laughs> because I went into the office, I ended up up actually on my way home stopping at the grocery store again so I went to Freshco and I spent eight dollars and 79 cents what I did was that when I had bought chicken on Sunday I put it all in freezer bags and put it in the freezer because I don't like keeping meat in my fridge um, I like putting it in the freezer so that it keeps longer and I forgot to take one out before I went to lunch <laughs> or went sorry not for, went to lunch went to work so I had to stop by the store and get another chicken um, package so it was just honestly it was like two chicken breasts but chicken is very expensive I'm pretty sure it's like over it's at least $5.99 a pound but it could even be $6.49 a pound now it's just like it keeps going up in price so yeah that was just for like two small ish chicken breasts but it's enough for like one meal each essentially for me so yeah $8.79 um next was on the 7th um so I in the dining out category I went to like a local coffee shop um I was walking by um in the morning like I, I actually okay I take that back I wasn't walking by in the morning I went there in the morning specifically because I wanted to get myself a coffee and just like treat myself but they actually had a promotion on that day so I ended up getting like a latte for only three dollars and ten cents which was really neat um and it was very good and then on the seventh as well um I actually for dinner and the dining out category went and got that Jamaican patty combo that I've talked about before and that was six dollars and ninety five cents honestly again I mentioned this in my debt overview video 
Um, at my job, it was like the start of, or like the close of the quarter because our quarters are a month off. So like normally you would think that like a quarter would be again, January, February, March, but our quarter is actually like February, March, April. Is that right? No, sorry, March, April, May. <laughs> That's what it is. So Q2 was March, April, and May. So then the beginning of June was just like really busy. So honestly, I was eating out a lot more than I normally did, but it's fine. I will, <laughs> I can make it work. I just, I need to be more aware of my spending, I think when it comes to dining out, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, $6.95 for a Jamaican patty combo. Then on the eighth, um, in the dining out category as well, I got sushi and that was six $7.90. And then again, on the ninth, um, in the dining out category, I got more sushi and that was $13.54. Essentially what I was doing is all week I was making my own lunch and then I was buying my dinner. <laughs> so that's really not a good thing to be doing, but yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. I I didn't like I didn't waste a ton of food because the food I bought I ended up being able to like save it, so it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't like I spent a ton of money on groceries and then wasted it all because it went bad and then I was spending a bunch of money on dining out, which I have absolutely done in the past, but it is still something that I want to try to be a little bit more aware of going forward. So, Anyways, let's flip over and I can do my totals. So the first total I have is for groceries and I ended up spending $66.49 on groceries. So if I hadn't have forgotten to take chicken out of my fridge <laughs> or my freezer, sorry, I wouldn't have gone over that this week, but that's okay um, as long as I just adjust going forward. I have been doing pretty well at sticking to that $60 per week for groceries. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, it makes it so that my balance for the month, I still have 100 and $73.51 in groceries. And that's just calculated by doing $60 times four, which is 240, um, because I give myself $60 every week for four weeks. And then minus $66.49 leaves me with 173.51, which I think is more than enough money for the next three weeks. Um, next I have dining out and dining out was pretty bad. <laughs> I ended up spending $67.09. So for reference, what I did in June was I actually upped my dining out budget. So I started started to give myself $40 per week in dining out just for the months of the summer because I wanted to just give myself a little bit more wiggle room and honestly it was really nice to like when I went out to lunch or like lunch dinner type thing with my friend I didn't worry about what I ordered because like I spent like $33 or something on that meal and normally that would be more than I could spend in a full week but this week that wasn't true I had 40 full dollars but then I ultimately ended up going over in a bunch of other purchases because I kept eating out for dinner but overall I think that as long as I can re rein it in for week two that's kind of my goal so I don't think I'm gonna say that I'm not gonna dine out at all next week but I want to maybe only do like one or two dining out purchases next week and small ones at that but we'll have to see I know next weekend I probably won't be dining out at all but I guess that's technically going to be part of week three Anyways, it's fine. I'm just, I have to, <laughs> I have to rein this in a little bit, but um, it's not terrible. I'm not mad at myself. I just, I know that I want to do better and I really want to try to be, I want to not see any red <laughs> in this budget. Like I just, I did really well in May and I want to keep that up into June. So yeah, anyways, it means that overall for the month, I still technically have $92.91 left in um, dining out, which is again, that should totally be enough money. That's essentially $30 per week, which again is less than the $40 per week that I had originally budgeted but if I can stick to $30 a week I'm cool with that next I have gas and I did not spend anything on gas so I still have the full $80 left and then finally in miscellaneous I actually only spent $6.67 and for miscellaneous um, what I did this month is I gave myself $20 per week so that would be $80 but then I gave myself an extra $75 because I wanted to budget enough to go and get a manicure a shellac manicure and a pedicure I don't know if I will actually do that but that's kind of what my plan is for that so so that ends up meaning that I technically have $148.33 left for miscellaneous for the month, which is awesome. I still have $150. That's technically $50 a week, even if I don't if I don't get my nails done. But I would, I do genuinely think I'm gonna get my nails done. Probably not. I might not do it this weekend because I'm I'm honestly I'm filming this video on July 11th or not July June the 11th and I don't think I'm gonna go this weekend but I might go but I'll, I guess I'll be home for Father's Day that weekend so it might end up being in week four okay I have to be aware of that then because if I leave it till week four <laughs> I might not have enough money by then but anyways we'll see how I do <laughs> 
Um, all right, let's do my totals. So my total spent for week number one ended up being $140.25. And my remaining balance, technically, that I have left to spend for the rest of the month is $494.75. And that, honestly, I am very comfortable with. I am very, very comfortable with that. The cool thing about this is that even though I did go like very, very over budget in dining out, technically now, because I've upped my categories, I give myself $60 for groceries, $40 for dining out, $20 dollars for gas and twenty dollars for miscellaneous not including that 75 extra dollars i'm budgeting of roughly 140 dollars a week so 140 dollars a week i was only technically 25 cents over and again i know you could argue that like it's because i didn't spend any money on gas but still that's not terrible and honestly i think by giving myself just a little bit of extra money i'm a lot i'm just a lot more comfortable right now because like yes i am going over and i went over a little bit in may but like i really didn't depress myself at all in May I didn't feel like I did anyways and I hope that I can keep that mentality up in June because I'm approaching one year of budgeting as of July the 1st which is really exciting but I just I want to keep going with this because I'm really happy with the results that I've had so far anyways that is it for today thank you again you guys so much for tuning in again my name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets my next video is going to be up on Wednesday um, and that's going to be my May debt overview which is a really or not sorry not May my June debt overview which honestly was a really exciting video for me to film so yeah I hope you all have an amazing couple days and I hope you guys tune in again on Wednesday to watch my June debt overview I was so happy with how May turned out so like June just like I'm really starting June off strong and I know I'm going to start off July even stronger and I'm just like I'm super happy with how everything is going with my budget but yeah have a great couple days and I will talk to you again on Wednesday goodbye everyone